Welcome! In this video, I will demonstrate how I pulled extracts from Wikipedia into Power BI when I created this Microsoft Community Data Story. In this video's example, we create a slicer to hold the ship's name, then pull an image in from Wikimedia Commons of the ship and pull in an extract from Wikipedia. When the name of the ship is selected, the image and the extract should update to show that for the ship selected. Let's get started. First, let's have a look at our data. In the video description, I will put a link to the spreadsheet used for this project, which is a scaled down version of the overall spreadsheet used when creating the Microsoft Community Data Story. Let's have a look at our fields. The first field is the Wikipedia URL. If you were to take the contents of one of these cells and copy and paste it into a browser window, then the relevant page on Wikipedia would appear. Image source contains the URL where the image can be found on Wikimedia Commons. The image URL will be used to pull the image into the Power BI report. Image attribution is as described, it's the attribution given to those who have kindly provided the images for us and ship is just simply the name of the ship. Let's now go to our canvas and get started on our diagrams. The first thing we will do is create the slicer. So go across to the visualisation pane and click on slicer to add one to the page. What we will now do is click and drag ship into the field the slicer updates. For this project, I would like it to be a single selection slicer. And to do that, I just need to click on the format. And in slicer settings, under selection, click single select to on. And that's us done. Nice and easy. The next thing I will do is put the image onto the page. And to do that, I am going to use a visualisation from CloudScope. You can find this visualisation through the Get More Visuals section of Power BI and then just search for Image by CloudScope. I click the icon to add the visualisation to the page. I will move the visualisation across. Before I can use this visualisation, I need to make a few changes to the data. And to do that, go across to the field section. For image source, click on it. And in the data category section, which appears, click the drop down and select web URL. Next, click on image URL in the field section and in data category, then select image URL. With your image visualization selected, I am going to click and drag image URL into the image URL field. Click and drag image attribution into the image title field and click and drag image source into the action URL section. And there we go. That's that all done for us. If you were to click on an image now, it will take you to, to the relevant page in Wikimedia Commons. Back in the report, there is only one thing left to do, and that is to put the Wikipedia extract onto the page. But before we can do that, we need to do a bit of data manipulation. We need to use the Wikimedia API to pull in the Wikipedia extracts. 
but that's not as complex as it may sound. To begin with, we go to transform data and transform data. The first thing we will do is duplicate the Wikipedia URL. So click on that column, right click in the header and select duplicate column. In our new duplicate column, we right click on the header and we select replace values. And what we will do here is we will remove any underscores which we see. So the value to find is underscore and we are going to replace them with the percentage sign 20. Click OK. Now this may look a bit strange but we need this format to help with our API call. In our new duplicate column, we don't need anything before the last forward slash. So right click on the column. I'm going to split the column and I'm going to split it by delimiter. And I am going to split the column at the rightmost delimiter of a forward slash. Click OK. And we now have two columns. I don't need this Wikipedia URL, copy.1, so I will delete that column. And the second column, Wikipedia URL, copy2, I'm going to rename it. So click on the header and I will call this one Wikipedia name to provide it with a better description. Next, I will set up a new column to hold part of the API code. So add column, custom column. I will call this API code. Double quotes and in between the quotes, I will give you the code to use. I will put that into the video description as well to make it easier for you. But essentially, all it is saying is we go to Wikipedia, we want to get back data in a format called JSON. What we will be doing is querying Wikipedia, hence action equals query. And then the properties that we are looking to get is the extract, but we want the extract before the intro section starts on Wikipedia. And we want it in plain text, which is why it's called explain text here. We don't want HTML, we want plain text. And titles equals, and after the equals, we need to put in the name of the new column, which we recently created. So we do space ampersand space, and then go to Wikipedia name, insert, and click OK. And that's the hardest bit of our API call done. We will now make sure that this new column is of type text. Now, all we have to do is make our API call. So new column, again, add column, custom column. I will call this column API call and equals, as mentioned earlier, we want a JSON document. So we just put in JSON and then select dot document, open bracket, and then what we are bringing into JSON is web contents. So we just type in web and dot contents, open another bracket, and now we put in our API code column. So go across to the right hand side, select your API code and click insert. Now we have opened two brackets, so we need to close off our two brackets, which we opened and click OK. 
And once you've done this, Power BI has created the API call. To see the contents of the call, all you need to do is go up to the top of the column and click on the split arrow. Personally, I always like to click load more in case there are other sections hidden. Click OK. If I go across, I will see I've got a new column which ends in query. Again, click the double split arrow. I like load more. Click OK. And we still have our double arrows, so we need to click them again. And after query pages, load more because you will have more than the two that you see. Okay, now click OK. But once you do that, please just wait for me before you click anything else. If you scroll across, you should see that we've now got a lot more columns. They will be highlighted grey if you've not clicked on anything else. And they have different page numbers. If you have clicked on something else, it's fine. Just re-highlight all of these columns that say dot pages. Then right click on the top of one of the columns and select unpivot only selected columns. And that will collapse all of those new columns into one column. Again, click in the double arrows, click load more, click OK. And if you scroll across, you should now have your extract. If you don't need these other columns, feel free to delete them. For time, I will leave them in, but I will change the name of this column to just extract. Let's make it type text, although it is pretty obvious. Then close and apply. Yes, you've done it. All that now needs to be done is to put the extract onto the page. And to do that, I am just going to use a card visualization. So click on card to add it to the page. I will move mine to be underneath the image. Into the card, I will click and drag extract into the field section. Then in the format section, I will remove the category label by switching it to off. In this section, I will also click on the callout value and I will reduce the text size to 14. And that's us done. We've completed our project. Let's just do a quick sense check to make sure it works. So we have the Acaster here, we have the Image Acaster and we have the Extract Acaster. Click on Albacore. We have the Albacore Vessel and then the Wikipedia Extract. And we can keep checking a few more. But everything looks good. That's us done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.